Hi guys, I'm here with a new video today. If you are new on my channel, then please hit that subscribe button below. Probably you're new here because my channel is new. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how to get started with digital painting in Photoshop. Step 1, very easy, double click on the Photoshop icon to open the application. I think you all can do it, right? Now that you have opened Photoshop, click on create new or click on file then new file. You have to select the canvas size before you start. You can manually create a canvas of any size you like. I mostly use 1690 into 1920 for my paintings. You can choose any size that you like. Just don't choose a size that is too small or too big. If the size is too small, then if you zoom on it, it will just pixel it. And if the size is too big, then it might be hard for your processor to process all that. You don't have to pay attention to anything else while choosing the size, just the width and the height. So after you're done with choosing the right canvas for you, it will look something like this. All the essential tools that you will be using is on the left side as you can see. The one tool that we'll be using the most is the brush tool. And you can use the eraser tool to erase any mistakes you make or to make a shape. I mostly use eraser to refine the edges of my paintings. So these are the two tools that you will be using the most. So for now that's all you need to know. The shortcut for the brush tool is B and the shortcut for the eraser tool is E. As simple as that. Learning the shortcuts will make your job a lot more easy and it will be very handy for you when you will be painting digitally. So there are many brushes here on Photoshop, but we'll be focusing on the primary brushes. These are the best to start with, the soft round brush and the hard round brush. I know there are many brushes, textured brushes and lots and lots of brushes. But if you do paint with those brushes in the beginning, it will be very messy for you to handle, you know. So you should always start with this simple and elegant brushes, the soft round brush and the hard round brush. After selecting the brush tool, you can pick any color by clicking on that color box on the left. Now that you have selected your color, you can start painting. You can click here to increase or decrease the size of the brush by sliding the bar. The shortcut for these are the square brackets on your keyboard. 
If you can't find, just look next to the letter P in your keyboard. The left one is to decrease the size and the right one is to increase the size of the brush. You'll need a graphic tablet or a pen tablet to draw with. You can't do it with your mouse. It's just extremely difficult with the mouse. Trust me, I've tried. With the tablet's pen, it's really really easy and fun to draw. You don't need a fancy one to start with. You can easily get a low budget one. There are so many pen tablets available right now in the market within your price range. You just have to look. Always turn on the pen pressure, that way you can control the opacity of your brush strokes. You can turn it on by clicking here. With more pressure it comes darker and with less pressure it becomes softer and softer. Next to opacity, you can see flow. Flow is how much paint comes out of your brush while you are painting. As you decrease the flow, it will be very faded and if you increase it, then it will be very dark. As simple as that. When you want to get off the darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down That's all you need to know to start painting digitally on Photoshop. In my next video, we'll go a little bit more in depth. We'll talk about layers and everything else. For now, just play around with the brush tool, opacity, flow, size of the brush, everything. The more you explore, the more you learn. So just keep exploring. And in the beginning, don't try to draw anything huge or anything highly detailed. Just start with a small thing with minimum amount of details. For example, you can always start with an apple.
and if you like the video then please leave a like that will mean a lot to me and again if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please please hit the subscribe button below also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything upload two to three videos each week that's a lot right <laughs> see you guys in my next video stay artistic and bye for now